Hi Leo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of January 17th to January 23rd, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video that will take you to the extended reading. If you are interested, you can go ahead and check that out. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Leo in regards to love for this week. Alright, Leo, let's see. First card we have for you here is the Ace of Cups, the Emperor in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles upright, the Hangman, the Five of Wands, the Devil in Reverse. At the bottom, we have the Six of Pentacles. Well, you're definitely interested in someone. <clears throat> I feel like you're interested in someone. Um, there might be a new person and an, old, and an old person here, Leo. Yeah, because we have a 10 and we have a 1. So you might be in between an old person and a new person for some of you. Um... I definitely feel like you're conflicted here because a part of you wants to work on something with the Six of Pentacles, but another part of you doesn't. Another part of you feels like you shouldn't have to. Another part of you feels like it's not fair. You're guarded here. You're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. It's like part of you feels inspired to fix something or work on something, but another part of you doesn't feel motivated. Another part of you is probably frustrated because we do have the emperor in reverse. So it's like you're angry, you're upset, or... With the five of wands, there there might have been some sort of there might have been some sort of fight or argument with someone. With the five of wands, you might be in in conflict with with another person. And you feel you feel like there there is something very really unfair here. Yeah, but it's like a part of you also with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you already invested so much of your time and energy into something. So it's like it also upsets you to to let this go to waste. It's like it also, um, I don't know if you can hear my dog. My dog is um, making noises. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so I feel like... Um, Part of you doesn't want to let this go to waste because you've already given so much to it. 
but another part of you is like sick of the drama you're you're tired of the drama or you're tired of the um the hostility or the negativity or even the toxicity with the devil card in reverse um with the hangman i feel like you're you're taking a step back you're taking a you're taking some time to yourself you're trying to really look at things from from a different perspective, from a different angle. You're trying to gain wisdom. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups, there is some sort of new beginning here um, with a new person, okay? So, so for some of you, there might be a new person in the picture. Or there's this new opportunity here. Um, and it's like you have to choose between this new opportunity or this past situation that you still haven't completely let go of. All right, I'm going to stop there, Leo. I hope that made sense. Let's take a look now at um, how do you see the person um, that you're dealing with in love? What is your view of them? Spirit angels and guys, please show me how does Leo see their person? First card we have here is the fool. So you might see them as someone who doesn't care. Someone who kind of turns their back to you. Someone who has a big ego. Okay, what else? We have the Two of Cups. Interesting. Yeah, someone who turned their back to the to the to their relationship with you, because the Two of Cups is the the relationship that you two have or had. And with the Fool, I feel like this person is just kind of, you know, the, being dismissive, act and being indifferent. Or acting indifferent. What else, spirit? We have the world card in reverse. So you see this person as um, unfinished business. There's unfinished business between you two. And we have the king of swords. Yeah, so the king of swords matches with the fool card in in the sense that it it's also kind of this energy of someone who is not acknowledging something someone who's being very cold and distant and um unattached and someone who is hiding their true feelings hiding their true thoughts someone who's being very cut and dry And like I said, someone who has a big ego or who's arrogant here. But you do see them as someone who you had something good with at some point with the Two of Cups. You two had something good together at some point. And you do see this person as someone who you feel you have unfinished business with. All right, well, let's take a look at the energy of your person, Leo, let, um, for this week. <clears throat> Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person that Leo is connecting to in love for this week.
right, let's see. First card we have for your person, Leo, is the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the Nine of Swords. The Knight of Swords, upright. The Five of Cups in Reverse. The Wheel of Fortune. The Justice card. At the bottom, the Eight of Pentacles. Leo, this person is definitely hoping that you will return back to them. Yeah. They're definitely hoping and wishing that you will return back to them and that you'll want to repair things with them, fix things with them. Yeah, they're they're crying here, they're stressing about you know, losing you. They want a second chance with you. They want a new beginning with you with the Ace of Pentacles. They want to make things right with the Justice card. They're depressed. They're sad. They're grieving. You know, Leo, but this is a little bit different than um, how you were seeing them, so... I feel like this person, according to how you were seeing them, it's like they're the ones that caused, caused this separation or this breakup here. I feel like they, they were putting on a show and they thought that you weren't going to do anything. They thought that you weren't going to walk away and I'm guessing you walked away. And now this person is kind of feeling stupid, you know, feeling like a fool. Yeah. It's like they, they thought they could get away with something. And now they're crying over something that they themselves provoked. This is what I'm getting here. All right. Yeah, because I, I can see that they want you back. They want to have a second chance with you. They don't want to lose you. They want to make things right. They want to apologize. What is the Nine of Swords about, Spirit? Two of Pentacles, okay. And the Temperance card. Yeah, this is someone who's hoping that you will reach out to them, that you will return back to them. I feel like you're upset with them, Leo, though. I feel like you do have feelings for them still. But I do feel like you're upset with them and, and it's not going to be easy, you know, for them to, to redeem themselves with you or to regain your trust. Because I do feel like trust was broken here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords spirit. The World card. And the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't want things to be over between you two. They want to have, they want to apologize and they want to open things back up with you. Tell me about the Justice card Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse. It, it does look like things are pretty damaged between you two, though. So I do feel like. Um, it's going to be hard to repair it if you're even interested. How does Leo feel about this person, Spirit? How does Leo feel? The Chariot. Okay. The Tower. Some of you are, are avoiding disaster with this person and you're moving away from this person because you feel like they're a mess and they're a wreck and they're just a disaster and with the chariot card some of you are 
are running away from this energy and person, from this person and the energy that they bring, which is toxic and unpredictable and negative. Okay, what else? Um, how does Leo feel about this person? Judgment in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of you are feeling like there's no point in, in giving in this any more energy or giving this any more effort. You do feel like there's, you know, unfinished business in, in the sense that there's a lot of unresolved conflict. Um, I do I do feel like you for some of you you do still care about this person but you just don't feel like it's worth it because you feel like this person is just too all over the place too too erratic and you feel like it would be a waste of time to um, invest any more of your time or energy into this into this person into this relationship so some of you are just you know completely moving away and this person knows it and they're devastated all right i'm going to continue this reading the in the extended reading um leo if you're interested where you can follow me there i'm going to take a deeper look at how does this person truly feel about you and what is it that they truly desire um, with you what are their intentions and desires and also what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week all right, thank you so much for watching, Leo. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.